Okay guys, today we're going to be reviewing possessives and contractions and the difference between the two as far as it goes to apostrophes. So in this first sentence, it says, I cannot wait to see you again. I can't. I'm really excited. Um, this word right here, would this be turned into a possessive or a contraction? Cannot. It would be turned into a contraction. And what would the contraction be for cannot? It would be can't. And you would spell that. Remember, the first word stays spelled the same. And then these two words would go away. So that's where you put your apostrophe. And then the T stays the same. I can't wait to see you again. The second sentence, Mrs. Snell class is the coolest. It's true. You guys are awesome. This word right here, Mrs. Snell's, if you try and take that and turn it into an is, would the sentence make sense? Mrs. Snell is class is the coolest. No, that doesn't make any sense. So instead, let's figure out what belongs to Mrs. Snell in this sentence to make sure it's a possessive. Mrs. Snell's class is the coolest. What belongs to Mrs. Snell in this sentence? Class. Very good. This is what belongs to me. It is my class. My class is the coolest class. So where would we put an apostrophe in this word, Mrs. Snell's? We would put it after Snell because possessives have to have apostrophe S. So now it says Mrs. Snell's class is the coolest and everything is punctuated correctly. Awesome. Good job, guys. Work hard on those papers and send me any questions you have. I love you guys. Bye.